I'm gonna record a little bit of an online lesson. I'm gonna have the video sent in to me playing. I think this person is wanting to focus on liberty, maybe with like a round pen and groundwork aspect too. I figured some people might be interested in seeing what specific exercises I may use in a real life training situation. So I'm not gonna show the entire video because this is like an online lesson for um, who sent this video into me, but I will show a couple minutes of it and hopefully it'll be of some use. So the first thing I'm not sure about is if this is a focus on round penning or a focus on liberty and starting to get the draw. If it's round penning, then that was a really nice job being consistent in the direction you want the horse to go. However, if you're looking to have a, a draw to start liberty, I would not send my horse away from me initially. I would be working on, like I said, working on the draw, not so much working on the sending and having them track in a direction. I really like how you're not driving the horse around with your body because some people get into this mode where they they move around the round pen too much and kind of are like chasing after the horse and that's never ideal and to start having liberty focus too if you want to go with the round penning way to then work into the liberty which I don't really do that much that way anymore I don't really associate round penning with liberty but something else to consider would be to change directions more frequently. So that would help a lot with body control and draw and your horse understanding where your body language is. It gives you a lot of practice with your body language and how to direct your horse with it too. So I would change directions more often. Again, that drawing is good, but I don't see a horse that's super connected with you right now. So to improve that, instead of just asking your horse to draw in, I would ask your horse to draw in, but then continue backing up to get your horse to draw to follow you around and kind of test and play around with that. Is my horse just drawing in as a learned behavior? like? that's where it ends, they don't go past that, or does my horse actually have a draw and I can keep them connected with me? So that would go back to one of my drawing exercises in one of my How to Start Liberty videos where I'm along the fence line with the whip getting them to draw up and keep the right pacing and distance with me as I move. But right here, this is a crucial part too, just spending time with your horse. And the whip desensitization is good. Usually though, once I know my horse isn't afraid of the tool, I don't focus too much on that. Sometimes I'll use it as in-betweens when I'm teaching tricks just to give like a barrier or break, like with my gray horse lengths, but not so much because he needs to be desensitized or um, comfortable around it because he already is. So I don't try to go back to that, the flagging and the whip desensitization too often. As far as using the whip to get a horse used to feel and movement, like if this was a Mustang right now, I would also be throwing the whip around the legs and getting them used to the feeling of that and a little bit of tugging on their legs. Um, I would spin it around their sides to get them used to the noise too. But as far as whip desensitization with the Liberty, I wouldn't do too much more because he isn't showing any signs of being worried about it. He looks like he definitely understands it. But that's really important to make sure that your horse can stand still and be comfortable with the whip. So you've done a really good job with that. So what I would do there just to kind of test um, his connection and his presence being there with you is I would then back up and try to draw him to you when he looks away like that. See if you can get his attention back on you. So right there, that was nice. 
I would have tried to do it a little bit sooner when he got distracted that first time, but that was good. And then you have to start pushing yourself a little bit more instead of just asking for that half turn, start asking for more for more movement and more steps. See how see how much you can you can get from him. So there when he didn't he didn't walk anymore when you kept backing up, so that's when I would have raised my whip up and drawn him up to me a little bit more. Instead of letting him stop there, because you're not asking him to stop over there. Keep encouraging that forward movement up to you. And to do that, I would just keep the whip at the side like you are right now when you're asking him to go out, but I would keep it at the side and encourage him to come forward and keep backing up so he has a place to go and he doesn't feel like he's trapped and walking into a wall. So right there, when you backed up that first time, I couldn't see because he was off screen, but to me, it was looking like you were asking him to draw in, but then you asked him to go again. So just be a little bit more aware of what you're asking with your body. But for the most part, you have really good body language with um, asking for changes of directions and asking for speed increasing and decreasing. But again, like, like I said, I would continue to back up when you're drawing him in to give him somewhere to go and that would also increase the speed of the draw then you could start asking for a trot or a canter for him to come in and if you were to ask for a trot or a canter then i would keep backing up until he gives you a step of trot and then you can encourage with that whip too sorry for the quality of this i'm filming on my laptop but i just wanted to add in that I think I already said this, but I didn't include the entire video because it was an online lesson for that owner and her horse, but I thought it would be beneficial to share at least a little bit of it and it might help a couple of you guys out. Or if you also want an online lesson or some tips online, feel free to send me a message on either Instagram or Facebook and we can get that set up somehow. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful to someone out there who might be having the same questions or issues with their horse and... Um, just needed some tips to help them out a little bit more.